Hello and welcome to a very special, very early unboxing. No, not really, not that special, just really early. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, I am streaming this at just shy of 4 a.m. Mountain Time. So, today we will be unboxing the latest... of the Marvel Collector's Four. Uh, as you know, we have, I, I do unboxings of Loot Crate, which here's this box, this will be later, a little bit later on. And the two of the three, powered by Funko, un, you know, mystery crates. They do, of course, have their the theme to them. Uh, this month's uh, that I just received is Captain America: Civil War, the movie released in May. Um, team Cap came out. Team Iron Man. Um, based on the members of the team, I'm very much a member of Team Cap. Um, the characters for, that, that are a member part of Team Cap have, for the most part, been my comic book favorites, and have and the ones that weren't comic book favorites have become movie favorites. So, if you don't want to listen to somebody who's a fan, of, who's a member of Team Cap, uh, doing the unboxing, probably not this year. But, before we get into actually opening the box, I cut it open earlier, I haven't op actually opened it. Um, but, first and foremost, we have the Collector's Core. <clears throat> so the Marvel Collector's Core, or Collector Core, sorry, um, a box made by Funko, makers of the Funko Pop, and that's usually the big draw is that there's going to be exclusive pops in their Powered by Funko boxes. Um, with a theme. This month, Captain America Civil War, and since Marvel is every other month, you only get six in a year. Uh, they are a little pricey at 25 plus shipping, but that's only every other month, so it's not a big deal. Uh, the next one, which is the June box, uh, the next the next Powered by Funko one that I will be doing is going to be the Bounty Hunters um, uh, Smuggler's Bounty for Star Wars. Uh, they do also offer uh, Legion of Collectors for you DC fans. I am not a huge DC fan. I've always been a Marvel guy, so uh, that's why I don't do those. The next one, as you can see, Civil War is no longer available. Um, by the time I get it and I can unbox it, the one that I'm unboxing is no longer available. Uh, so the next one in June is Women of Power with Spider-Gwen uh, on the top. Right around that time, maybe a little before then, uh, but I think right around the time when this... when the June box is coming out. The Spider what the Spider Gwen Funko Pop and the curiously named unmasked Captain Marvel uh, Funko Pops are being released. Um, there's been a lot of speculation about the pops that are going to be in the Women of Power box. I won't get into it. I will say that the two characters that I just mentioned are the are two that I do actually have a, a feeling is going to be associated with, heavily with the box. Um, you can take, and at any time, you can subscribe to Marvel Collector's Core. Uh, so far, this is the seventh, so the first of the new year. It's been one year since they started, so this is kind of the first anniversary. Started with Avengers, to Ant-Man, <clears throat> to Secret Wars, uh, to Villains, to Guardians of the Galaxy, to Deadpool, and now Cap Civil War. Um... Each one comes with a patch, a pin, and a piece of apparel. Uh, they have all, to this point, also come with an exclusively covered comic book. Um, now, with all of that... Let's switch back over to the... Tiger game. The Funko boxes, I find to be one of the, one, uh, an exceptional value... Uh, even though they are a little pricier than, than like Loot Crate or some of the others out there. But I do like them if you are a fan of that, because it is very focused. 
uh, Loot Crate does have a whole gamut now, and I'll get more into that in my Loot Crate video. Um, sometimes the stuff I think is a little too focused. Marvel is a great one, Star Wars is a great one. Lots of history, lots to pull from. So, we're going to dig in. Um, like I said, I cut the, the tape on this, but not anything from that. Uh, good box, good, nice top artwork. Then it's just got the Captain America, it's got the Marvel logo on the side. It's got the Marvel logo on the other side, but it's got my apartment number on it, and I'm not going to also, I'm also not going to show you the bottom, because that's got my address. And then on the back, you've got just the, the normal information. So, <coughs> let's crack this bad boy open. And I block. So, on the inside, we have some nice art, interior artwork with the Cap Iron Man. And we have, starting right from scratch, right on the, the top panel, we have, for the pin, <coughs> we have, let's see if we can get a good angle on this, Black Panther. Um, Black Panther, like Spider-Man, plays a fairly big role in the new movie. Uh, if you've been watching the movies and you watched uh, Age of Ultron, Black Panther is the ruler of the nation of Wakanda, uh, which is the nation that Ulysses Claw was in. Uh, they are the only country that possesses vibranium, which is the substance that Captain America's shield is made out of. Uh, then, next we have the Patch. Open this bad boy out. In the patch, you might not recognize, that's Crossbones. The character of Crossbones was first introduced in Winter Soldier. He was one of the Hydra. Uh, he was the leader of the strike team that turned out to be all Hydra. <coughs> Spoilers. You're a ways out from the release of that movie, so... Okay. Uh, now, this is a first for the... Uh, They've got an advertising pamphlet uh, for the next box. Um, and they also show you contents of previous boxes right here. Um, and then I also have on the back, and I'm not going to show this to you um, because we're going through all of it, um, the contents of it. So I'm now getting my own spoilers for it. Um, now, if you do decide to subscribe to the collector's score. This is a trick. When you subscribe, and only when you first subscribe for a new subscription to the collector's core, and you can also do this with the Smuggler's Bounty, and I'm assuming you're going to be able to do it with uh, Legion of Collectors. You can, in addition to purchasing the most recent box, you can also purchase any still available in stock previous boxes. So if you are... Now, caveat to that is that they do sell out. They do eventually sell out. So if you were to subscribe now to get Women of Power, you'd be able to get... You may be able to order any one of those. Now, as I understand it, the Villains one, from which was the Halloween one from last year, that one's sold out. And, and sold out, sold out. Um, let's see if this fixes that. Ah, magic! My lighting's better. It's not backlight myself anymore. Um, but that also means that it's not... That once they're gone, they're gone. They may come back, but they're unlikely to. Because the limiting factor with these is the amount of the actual pops, or or like there's there's going to be a limiting factor within these. Um, that one, as I understand it, the limiting factor was the pop. Uh, it was a relatively obscure character, Mobius or Morbius, uh, the living vampire. But let's not go continue on with that. Let's go with the latest crate. Like I said, I'm getting my own spoilers. So first up, we have a lanyard. Um, I like this. The first of the uh, Smuggler's Bounty came with a lanyard. Um, 
they are a great place to keep all of your pins. They never came out with the lanyard in the previous ones, but since it's the start of a new year, I think they decided that it'd be a good idea for now for this one. But there they go. Then next up we have the t-shirt. Uh, there's always a piece of apparel. Uh, I say apparel, usually it's a t-shirt, but for the Christmas uh, Cards in the Galaxy crate, it was a scarf. See it? We got Captain America's Civil War with Funko Pop versions of Team Iron Man and Team Cap. This will be what I will be wearing to my uh, 7 p.m. Thursday night showing of Civil War here in Albuquerque on the IMAX. If you watch me and you are in Albuquerque and you are planning on coming, that please feel free to find me in the theater. Uh, or beforehand, and come say hi. Uh, next up is the Black Panther issue one pop variant cover. You can see it's it's a uh, Cap and Black Panther in their pop forms. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they, they, they see, even say on here about the lanyard. But we wanted to launch the second year Marvel Collector's Core by providing a home for all your pins. Okay, so next, I'm saving what, what I think is the biggie for last, because I'm looking at the box. Uh, then we have the exclusive Marvel Collector's Core unmasked Iron Man Dorbs. Uh, Funko, along with their, uh, there was another company that, that made these, Funko bought them, as I understand it, or they joined Funko, or, or Funko. Now doors are made by Funko. Um, they're cool, not to me as cool as Pops, but that's... And then the last, but certainly not least, is the Marvel exclusive, or the Marvel Collector Core exclusive, twin pack of Cap and Iron Man. It's a uh, metallic Iron Man. So he is, is fully metallic, not matte. Uh, and he's in a unique pose. Um, and then Cap with his shield. It's not the normal it's not the normal Cap pop and it's definitely not the, the normal Iron Man pop. Uh, the only pop that I from the from this series that I don't yet have that I want is, is the uh, Giant Man. Um, spoilers for the movie, uh, which I still haven't seen yet, but I know about because it's an ability the character has in the comic book. So why wouldn't he have it in the movie? When, why wouldn't he figure it out in the movies? Um, if you watch Ant Man, you can go ah that makes sense, or not. I, if you watch Ant Man. The giant man thing makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, for my own purposes, put all, put everything back in my, in, in the big box. Uh, I will be back in just a little bit with uh, the loot crate. If you're watching on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to go on to the next video. Uh, it'll be my loot crate unboxing. Uh, and remember. Uh, if you want to subscribe to these crates, there are links down below on, uh, I should be putting them in the description on my YouTube videos. If you're watching on my Twitch channel, they're right below, um, in my description, because I do include the links there. Again, if you are interested for the, for the next crate, for the Smuggler's Bound, or for the Collector's Core, it's going to be Women of Power. So it's going to be female characters. Uh, female characters with an action figures are always a pain in the ass to find. Um, and this is going to be a great option to find characters that you may not necessarily easily be able to find uh, action figures and merchandise of. Uh, yes, Spider-Gwen is incredibly popular, but it's still going to be harder to find than Iron Man or Captain America or Cyclops or any of those guys.
So, as I said, I will be back in a few minutes here on Twitch. Um, I'm just going to take a brief break, get some water. And uh, then I will be back. Have a good morning.